All right, y'all. So this is Keto at Sprouts. Um, this is their meat section slash selection. They have the Peterson or Patterson meats that uh, a lot of people that are doing keto are talking about. Um, this is a lot of the breakfast stuff that they have. Uh, Sprouts is very expensive. Um, that's why my, my, my voice is so monotone. But, you know, some of my people, you know, like Sprouts. And so this is for you. And so here's their bacon um, or whatnot. Um, like I said before, very, very expensive. Um, but they do have all kinds of bacon. Um, I did not pick one thing up to <laughs> to check it out or to examine it. Um, they have Hebrew National hot dogs. They have all kinds of hot dogs or whatnot. And so I was very surprised by that. Uh, really wasn't expecting that because I don't really go into Sprouts like that. I was going into Sprouts for something else. But this is their um, summer sausage and as you can see, regular sausage. And then they have um, ground turkey. Um, of course they would have ground turkey at Sprouts. But Sprouts is like more of a um, like natural type market. Oh, so this is turkey giblets. I was uh, surprised by those. Um, I had not seen those before ever. And so um, if you like giblets. Um, and then they have uh, turkey thighs, which I thought was interesting. I was like, oh, okay. But you can use the turkey giblets in your gravy if that's something that you want to do. And so this is their selection of air chilled um, chicken. Uh, you can go by there, get you some. Some of that stuff said 97 cents per pound, you know. Then they have just regular, regular old everyday chicken, you know. But this is their brand. Um, and then they have their butcher shop brand, which is organic. Um, it looks like that says 590 something, five something for organic. So that's not too bad. Then they have the regular chicken, whole chicken, and they have um, the organic chicken. So as you can see, the one that's not organic, which is yellow, is more expensive, uh, more, is bigger. So then right here, they have chicken chorizo and they have pork chorizo. I have never seen chicken chorizo. I just thought it was only one kind of chorizo. Um, I don't, oh, this is sweet something. I don't know what this is. It's sweet something. I was thinking, I just, I was just, at this point, I was really just snapping pictures because I was just like, let me get out of here. I'm starting to break out in hives because it's so expensive. But I did like the selection of meat that they had. Um, they have all kinds of ribs. They have pork shoulder. Um, I believe I saw that they had pork butt. Um, they have ribs. They have a lot of different stuff that um, I ain't really know, you know, because I don't go into sprouts like that. Um, so they had uh, pork ribs, and then they had this St. Louis style pork rib as well. Um, and so I was like, okay, so y'all trying to do something different. And so um, as you can see, they have pork chops, and then they have uh, pork, some more pork ribs. Um, all kind of steak they had, um, thin cut, thick cut, bacon wrap um you name it you name it and so i did like this section right here um that they had their um well the butcher section i really did like that um because i hadn't seen that since uh the butcher block in abilene texas so yeah the butcher block went out of business you know so um if you're keto, you know, I would be leery of the ones with the sauce because you don't really know what's in the sauce. And nine times out of ten, the people that are, you know, giving you the butchers, they don't really know what's in the sauce either because the sauce comes prepackaged. So I would just stay away from that. But, um, you know, you can get you some other stuff or whatnot. Um, the fish, you know, well, that's chicken. That's Parmesan crusted chicken. You know, if you're into that kind of thing, you know, do you, boo. So their seafood selection, I was pleasantly surprised by their seafood selection. I was like, man, you know, if I want to do a, a seafood boil or something like that, I would come up here and then I didn't even know that these uh, little lob the, the lobster tails, I didn't know that they were $8.99. Did not know that, okay? And so they have salmon over there. Their scallops are actually frozen. They're not fresh. Um, but, I mean, that's still a pretty good deal, you know, $8.99 a pound. You know, at um, Aldi, you get about a pound for nine forty nine or something like that. So all kinds of fish they have. You know, they got tilapia and catfish and all kind of stuff. I took a picture of this because it said uh, Texas. So and then the other one I took a picture of because it said Mexico. So wild Mexican shrimp, and then they had Texan shrimp. So 
more red Texas shrimp. So I was like, okay, all right. And so here are their scallops. Y'all know how I feel about scallops. If you don't know how I feel about scallops, you just stay tuned because I just really am getting on this scallop train. And so they had shrimp. I don't know any prices on this stuff. The only thing I know prices on is the ice cream. That's it, okay? So at this point, like I said, I was breaking down high. So they have Atlantic salmon and they have sockeye salmon. Um, I heard that sockeye salmon is supposed to be the best. So um, basically all the stuff that they have at Sprouts is the best because um, it's hot in the mug. So they have tilapia, you know, if you're if you're into that kind of thing. They have tuna steaks. You can make you some um, sushi if you're into making your own kind of sushi. You know, I'm not into that, so I'm not going to do that. Um, they have Atlantic cod. Their seafood selection was very, very good. You see that $23.99? Honey, stop. And, y'all, when I say they have cheeses, they have cheese upon cheese upon cheese. Did I say upon cheese? It's kind of like being at Aldi with all that cheese. I was like, look, if you take enough, if you snap one more photo of cheese, I'm going to snap you. But I still just kept taking pictures of cheese. They got Havarti. They got Munister. They have Swiss. They got uh, Provolone. They got Gouda. They got smoked Gouda. You want regular Havarti? They got regular Havarti. You want uh, smoked white cheddar? They got smoked white cheddar. They got all, they have Laughing Cow. Any kind of cheese you want. They got it. Um, I took a picture of this sauerkraut because they say sauerkraut is good for the gut while you're on keto to help you. Um, it's a probiotic, and so it's to help your gut bacteria, which I found out in week eight, you need something, okay? Okay, I'm going to just leave that right there. I'm going to leave that right there, and you do what you want to do with it, but at some point, you're going to need something for your gut. And so here is some more cheese. Um, yeah, big cheese, small cheese, raw cheese. Um, raw cheese is just that. It's raw. It's, it has not been processed or anything like that. Um, and they say that the taste is, um, it tastes better. It's like more, I guess they say that it tastes more fresh. I don't know. They got all kinds of nuts, hazelnuts, macadamia nuts. Um, pepitas, they got, um, what's some little things called? Almonds, cashews, pecans. My bad, y'all. I let these videos, uh, rack up, so I'm a little on the tired side. And then, what's some little things? Ca not cashews. They got all kind of nuts, okay? So, you ain't even got to worry about it. Um, a lot of people like to get their nuts, uh, that's what they call pistachios. I'm tripping. A lot of people like to get their nuts from here. Um, me personally, I don't. I'm, I'm. A, it's all good. It's all good for me. But um, I just took a picture of this because if you if you're into that kind of thing and you're a true you know health nut, you know then this video is definitely for you. Um, just know that you know Sprouts gonna hurt your pockets. They don't do no kind of coupons or nothing like that. So you know it is what it is. At, shop at your own risk okay so they have strawberries they have blueberries they have blackberries they have raspberries they have watermelon they have fresh fruit all kinds of fresh fruit they have all kinds of fresh vegetables um didn't bother taking any pictures of that because like i said it's a natural health food store and so um before previously i have gotten some of their stuff um and i did like it i did enjoy it and so um i would get a rotisserie chicken from here um, it was it was on the small side, but I mean I had to make do with what uh what what I had to make do with. Okay, so they have organic fruits and vegetables, and then they have non-organic fruits and vegetables. They have all kinds of milk, oat milk, macadamia nut milk, goat milk, whatever kind of milk you need, almond milk, cashew milk, coconut milk. They got it. Okay. I know I ain't take a pic. I didn't take a picture of that. I didn't bother to, cause okay, they got all kinds of butter. If you're vegan, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to Bessie. They got stuff over here for you. You know, if you're into that kind of thing, they had all kinds of eggs. You know what I'm saying. Cage free, non cage free, uh, grass fed, grass finished, whatever. I mean, I don't really think chickens eat grass, but if they did, they would be grass fed, grass finished at Sprouts. Okay. I just came here for the ice cream, okay? This is where we got the Snickerdoodle ice cream from Enlightened. Um, as you can see, I got all kinds of prices on it. 
uh, $4.99 is the cheapest that I have found it because um, at the vitamin shop it is actually $6.99. This is another picture of the ice cream. Uh, we got the cookies and cream one and we got the snickerdoodle one. And so this has been Journey with Wendy. Thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.